Hello everyone, my name is Applemelon and welcome to this video tutorial on how to make scenarios in student transfer. Uh, now you may be thinking, what is student transfer? Well, if you've clicked this video, you probably already know what student transfer is. It's a game, it's a visual novel, and it allows users who have played the game and want to create their own stories within the game to make scenarios, which are basically self-contained stories. They are completely customizable and they are really easy to work with once you actually know what on earth you're actually doing. But getting into it is for many the first step, the first hurdle, which can be very hard if you've never worked with any kind of code before. However, I'm going to try to show you how to do it in a very relatively easy way. Now, we're going to have to divide videos into various categories. First off, this video is going to be how to get started and how to get everything set up. Now, first off, scenarios are written in text editors. You're going to need a text editor that isn't Notepad because Notepad is absolutely terrible. I use a text program a text editing program called Atom. You're just going to Google Atom. The first result should be this site and you're going to download it. You're going to install it. I'm not going to do it. I already have it installed and I'm not going to bother with it. So once you installed it, you open the program. This is Atom. This is probably not how it looks when you first start the program since you're going to have some kind of start site or some, something else. I disabled that. So it's not going to show up for me. Uh, obviously, there's not much you can write here. I'm, I'm clicking, there's, there's nothing I can write here. We don't actually have the text files that we're going to edit uh, with Atom uh, created yet. It's something we're going to do later. But first, very important, we're going to install a package for this program. You're going to go into File, Settings, and here, in this list, you're going to choose install. And if we enter this, it should come up with language slash or whatever this sign is, Renpu. Renpu is, for those who don't know, the engine that Student Transfer runs on. And since Student Transfer runs on this engine, our scenarios are going to run on it too. I already have it installed, so I'm not going to uninstall and install again, but it, it basically says install. Just click that and it should handle itself. Uh, what this does, we're going to get into depth with it later, but just believe me, it's a huge, huge quality of life improvement and you're going to want to do this if you're using Atom, that is. Now, we're basically set up, right? But uh, we don't actually have any files to edit. We don't have a scenario. How do we create a scenario? Well, first, you have to actually find your student transfer folder. I have it in my hard disk here, and you're going to open the game. This may take a few seconds, so I'm just going to stretch this out a bit. Oh, there we go. Skip that. In here, student transfer main menu, we go into scenarios and there's a nifty little button here. Plus new sin. Click that. Boom. There we go. A scenario has been created. Uh, it's been created. You were in here. I'm just going to close that. Earlier we opened the game by being in here. But in the folder structure, you're going to go into game scenario and there you go it created a new scenario called template we're gonna change it you can change it to whatever you like you can rename it to uh, I don't know uh, Greg's adventure and now we have a folder called Greg's adventure this doesn't actually affect anything it's just to, to look nice kind of in here we have the folder structure for the scenario. It's important you know exactly what these folders do. Story is basically a folder that contains 
your actual script and code. It's uh, probably the one you're going to be working with the most. Uh, SFX, it's sound effects. It's empty because there's no sound effects. Music is for music, also empty. BG stands for backgrounds. So it's like the backgrounds you see, like the city when you're standing in the city. And assets is for anything else, anything you can think of. You can add a bowling ball. If you want to add a bowling ball to your, to your scenario, you can throw it in here. Now, another very important file is this one, scenario.json. It's a JSON file, which is a file that contains data, nothing else. Uh, we can open this with uh, Atom2. Uh, first time you have Atom installed, you're not going to see this little sign, which means that it's going to open in Atom. So you're going to open with Atom. If it does, if Atom doesn't pop up here, just choose default program and go into other programs. Should be done here. It's up here because I've already used it. So we open it. And there we go. It's open in Atom now. We have something to edit. Uh, these are the data for your scenario. Now the red ones do not edit these. You can delete them entirely like this, but do not edit them. Right? So don't edit the red ones, edit the green ones. Very important because else your scenario is going to break. As a description, we could say Greg goes on an adventure. That's the description of the scenario. As a title, we could say Greg's adventure. There we go. For tags, you can add all kinds of tags. We can add a, uh, what's the scenario is going to be about? It's going to be about love. It's going to be about uh, dreams. And we're gonna, not going to have a third tag. So we just remove that. A label. Very important uh, attribute. Not going to change that right now. Prefix, also very important. Version, not so important. You can write any number here. Uh, it's version uh, 1.0. And author is me, Apple Merlin. There we go. So you can press Control Save if you're on Windows. Else you can just go into File, press Save. It should sell, tell you the shortcut here. Uh, it's important that you save before opening up the game to test out the changes you've made because else the changes aren't going to be there. Uh, so yeah, we open the game again. And it should be in the list of scenarios, unless you've made some kind of error. Skip that. Ah, Greg's Adventures here. How nice. So, we try playing it. Hello world. Well, that was a short scenario. We're gonna want to change that later. But first off, you can see Greg's Adventure. That is the title of this uh, scenario. We have, I, I can't move my mouse over there, but in version 1.0, that's the version up here. Just gonna have to focus on that. By Apple Melon, the author, love, dreams, those are the tags, and Greg goes on an adventure. That's the description up here. So that concludes the first video. I hope you followed and have made it this far. Else just try going back into the video and see what you did wrong. Uh, and see you next time.